Have you ever seen a rhinoceros? You know, the one with thick wrinkles on his rough skin? Do you know why the rhinoceros' skin is like that? How the rhinoceros got his wrinkled skin. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was an island in the Red Sea where only a few lived. One of them was a Parsi, and he always wore a big hat to block the hot sun. How about I mix some flour and sugar, then knead the dough, put some currants and plums on top of it, and then bake it? Hmm, that would taste fantastic! One day, the Parsi decided to bake himself a cookie. The Parsi kneaded the dough, put it on the stove, and baked it. As the cookie was baking on the stove, it smelled so sweet and tasty. Mmm! A 60 centimeters across and 90 centimeters thick cookie! This is going to be a wonderful treat, like magic! At last, the cookie was done! The Parsi was just about to put a piece of the freshly baked cookie in his mouth. He suddenly heard some heavy footsteps running toward him from the center of the island where nobody lived. It was a rude rhinoceros with a big horn on his nose and two piggy eyes. The surprised Parsi left his cookie and climbed up to the top of a palm tree with only his hat. <laughs> the rhinoceros came to the stove and pushed it over with his nose. The stove fell down and the cookie rolled onto the sand. Then the rhinoceros hooked the cookie with his horn and ate it all up. That darn rhinoceros! My, oh my cookie! The Parsi was very upset, but there was nothing he could do about it. After the rhinoceros ate the cookie, he went away to the center of the island waving his tail. The Parsi came down from the tree and set up the stove. Then he began to sing. Eating the Parsi's cookie, what a big mistake! 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 Five weeks later, the steamy heat struck the island and it became very hot. Everyone sweated a lot and they all took off their clothes. What terribly hot weather! Whoa, it's too hot! The Parsi took off his clothes and even the hat which he always wore. Phew, it's so hot! I guess it's time to put my plan into action. The rhinoceros took off his skin and carried it over his shoulder when he came down to the beach. In those days, the rhinoceros' skin was very soft with no wrinkles anywhere. His skin even had three buttons on it so the rhinoceros could take off and put on his skin easily, like a coat. All right, the rhinoceros finally took off his skin. The rhinoceros left his skin on the beach and enjoyed swimming in the sea. From the time he had eaten the cookie to now, 
The rhinoceros never mentioned the cookie to the Parsi. That's because the rhinoceros had no manners then, just as he has no manners now. The Parsi came by and found the rhinoceros' skin. He got a big smile on his face and danced around the skin three times. Eating the Parsi's cookie, what a big mistake! 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 The Parsi went back to his tent and collected some cookie crumbs. He ate cookies all the time in his tent, but never cleaned up. So his tent was full of cookie crumbs, and they were old, dry, stale, and tickly. Great! The cookie crumbs have all dried up. This will do. The Parsi put the cookie crumbs in his hat and returned to the beach. The Parsi put the old, dry, stale, tickly cookie crumbs inside the rhinoceros' skin to the last crumb. Crumbs, crumbs, spread everywhere inside the skin. After he sprinkled all the cookie crumbs in the skin, the Parsi climbed up to the top of the palm tree. Then, he just waited for the rhinoceros to come out of the water. After a little while, the rhinoceros came out of the water. Oh, it has cooled down after the sunset. I should go back home now. The rhinoceros put on his skin and fastened the three buttons. Then, the cookie crumbs in the skin started to tickle the rhinoceros' skin. Ah, what's wrong with my skin? Is something inside my skin? Uh, it's, it's tickling! The rhinoceros felt tickly, so he scratched his skin. But that made it worse. The rhinoceros became upset, lay down on the sand, and rolled and rolled and rolled around. But every time he rolled around, the cookie crumbs tickled him worse and worse and worse. Darn, it's so tickly! What is going on? The rhinoceros ran to a palm tree and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed himself against the tree. He rubbed himself so much and so hard that he got thick wrinkles on his shoulders, legs, and around his buttons. Soon, he rubbed off the buttons on his skin. Oh my, it's terribly itchy! I can't take it anymore! In this way, the rhinoceros got thick wrinkles on his skin. He rubbed and rubbed and rubbed himself against the tree. But it didn't help at all. So, he became very angry and went back home jumping up and down wildly. Since that day, every rhinoceros has had thick wrinkles on his skin and also a very bad temper. <laughs> I didn't know that. I should look carefully at a rhinoceros' skin later. 